Hey folks, James Abrinio coming to you from Abrinio Law, your Northern Virginia personal injury and criminal defense law firm. In this video, I want to talk about a question I've been getting a lot lately. James, I've been charged with a crime, uh, whether it's an assault charge or a domestic assault charge or some other crime, and I've been told that the complaining witness, the person that uh, has accused me of a crime, doesn't want to go forward. Can we just do a motion to dismiss before court? Can we just have the case dismissed? Why do I even have to deal with this thing if I know that the the, the witness against me is not going to show up, is not going to testify? Uh, I trust them, and, and I have a feeling that this thing's going to go away. Why do I even have to hire you, the attorney? Um, I have recently even had someone tell me they Googled what a motion to dismiss was, and I should just file one of those. Well, at least here in Virginia, unfortunately, if you're facing particularly a misdemeanor charge in one of our district courts, either the general district court or the juvenile and domestic relations court, um, criminal charges likely won't be uh, assigned to a prosecutor uh, sh until shortly before trial. Uh, indeed, uh, in, in the bigger jurisdictions, it may be an, even the day of court. Um, so even if I filed a motion to dismiss um, there, there's not even a prosecutor assigned, but more to the point, if we're talking about a case where um, a witness is the evidence against you and it, there's not some procedural issue, a motion to dismiss is not going to fly. A judge is going to say, look, we've got to wait until trial before I can determine whether or not, or whoever judge handles this case can determine whether or not there's sufficient evidence. Um, it's premature and it's not going to happen. So unfortunately, um, if you're facing a charge here in Virginia, a misdemeanor particularly in one of the district courts, unfortunately, you're going to have to typically wait until court uh, for the case to be resolved. Um, you're going to have to wait until your attorney gets discovery. And also remember, uh, particularly this, and this is a lot about domestic violence charges in particular, because I get a lot of calls about the complaining witness, the significant other saying they don't want to press charges. But then when it comes to court, either number one, they've decided to change their mind and they actually do want to prosecute you or have you prosecuted. Number two, maybe they were lying to you in the first place. And in fact, the reason that you're facing a charge, they lied about you. And now uh, I'm not quite sure how you would trust uh, them to not lie about wanting you prosecuted, or sometimes a prosecutor will want to prosecute even if the complaining witness or the victim doesn't want to go forward. Uh, and again, this is uh, oftentimes in domestic violence cases where a prosecutor is concerned that uh, domestic violence is happening and uh, the accused person is somehow convinced uh, the victim to not want to go forward. Um, and when a charge gets into the system, uh, the, the complaining witness, the victim, while they have a say, it's not ultimately their call. It's a prosecutor's call. Um, so for those reasons, unfortunately, it's going to be very unlikely that your case is going to be dismissed prior to, to going through the system. It's got to work its way itself through the courts. Now, uh, if, if you've got a case in circuit court, there's a lot of pretrial motions practice that, are, that don't apply to district courts. Um, so this video is really geared towards misdemeanors in district court. Um, and so... Uh, you know, long story short, you got to be patient. Uh, I always tell people, look, if I could get your case dismissed by simply filing a motion, uh, the way I charge is flat fee. I'd prefer to do a little bit of work early on, get my money, get paid and moved on, move on rather than having to wait several months and then maybe have to wait because the case gets continued having to do discovery from a financial perspective. That's not something that I prefer. I'd rather get my money early if you're looking at it from purely from a dollar uh, perspective. But at the end of the day, at least here at Abrinio Law, our goal is to get you the best outcome possible. So if it means that we've got to go to court, if it means that we have to have a trial, it means if the case has to get continued, have multiple court dates. Uh, if you hire us, we're going to take the time it's need, you need and the time the case needs in order to get the best result possible. So hopefully this answers your question. It may very well not, and I totally understand that. Feel free to reach out to us for more questions. Uh, you can give us a call. Phone number is 703-570-4180. You can also check out our website, www.abarinolaw.com, where we've answered a lot of questions by video or, or, or articles. Um, or you can also give me an email, james at abarinolaw.com. So uh, again, I don't mean to scare you. I don't mean to stress you out. But at the end of the day, if you're facing criminal prosecution here in Virginia, you got to make sure uh, that you get proper advice and you got to do it the right way so you get the best outcome. Don't rely on somebody just telling you they want to drop the charges too. I, I've seen that go wrong way too many times. So Hopefully this video is helpful. If you want to reach out, feel free to reach out. Until then, stay safe. Thanks.